If it seems like the only people who can get credit are the people who don't need credit, you're not entirely wrong. Credit grantors are looking for people that, if they lend them money, can actually pay them back. Debt.com chairman Howard Dvorkin says people often don't know why they're being denied credit. People must understand the weaknesses of their credibility. So we're running down Howard's top five reasons why you're being denied credit. We'll lump the first two together because they're related. Insufficient income or a high debt to income ratio. You may have too much debt or your monthly expenses may be too much from a ratio standpoint that they're willing to accept. It's easy math. Add up all your debt payments. Let's say your credit card mortgage, car loans, student loans add up to $2,000 a month. Divide that by your monthly income, let's say that's six grand a month, that puts your debt to income ratio or DTI at 33%. According to Investopedia, most lenders prefer a DTI under 36% with no more than 28% of that going toward mortgage or rent. If you're not there, there's only two ways to move the needle. Pay down debt or make more money. Show as much income as possible. That includes gig jobs or any other forms of income. Yep, it might take getting a side hustle to either pay down existing debt or boost the income side to get that loan. This next one's going to sound kind of judgy because it is. Hey, you're asking them for money, so they're allowed. Lenders don't like job hopping. Any creditor is looking for stability. Working at the same job for a number of years that you're not bouncing every six months to a new job, that employment history is key. While we're at it, apartment hopping is also frowned upon. Where you live, if you've been in the same house for years at a time, is a good indication that you're a solid citizen and that you deserve to be extended credit. Next, and this was a new one to me, try to avoid repeat applications. Every time you apply, it dings your credit by four points. So if you apply to five different creditors, that's 20 points that your score just dropped in one day. So you have to be very careful. Credit cards are profit centers for lenders, and they want to get as much product on the market as possible. So you're applying for the University of Michigan card. What you don't know is Capital One is behind that credit card, and you may have just applied for Capital One one credit. So check the fine print so you're not burning through precious points on your credit score hitting up the same back-end bank or lender over and over again. Finally, and this is more common than you think, you might get denied because your credit report's not up to date. A late payment that occurred 10 years ago may still be on your credit report, but the statute of limitations is only seven years. Just fire up your browser and go to annualcreditreport.com and make sure that your credit report is accurate. And if it isn't, there are laws that allow the consumer to dispute information. You can find sample dispute letters on the Federal Trade Commission website. Under Understanding why you're being denied credits at the top of the list.